my lovelies welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me so welcome to today's video which is going to be the Oreo life update apparently <laughs> no it's not it's all about new makeup releases of course but before we go into this I want to give you the update the Oreo update he is growing sweeties would you believe that and he is purring I wish you could hear that I'm trying to hold him next to the microphone but I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it but he is so so cute and I love him so much and he is the best thing that's happening right now in my life seriously so yeah so he is now I want to say eight weeks old I'm not a hundred percent sure because I'm not a hundred percent sure how old he really is we know he was about a week or ten days old when we got him or when we found him so that must mean that he was born around middle of July but you know so something like that anyway so he is so big he doesn't even fit in my hand anymore and he's doing really really well and I don't have to get up at night anymore to feed him I still have to get up at night to do my makeup but not to feed him so anyway one more question though before I give him to my daughter who is waiting here to take him back um, to our living room one question I do have because I know a lot of people uh, of you of my subscribers or viewers have cats and have raised also kittens and you know what he is very very playful now and he loves to like bite maybe you can even see that like he's trying to bite my fingers now it's not painful it's not malicious but it's like it's playful you know he he is just I guess curious and wants to try out himself and whatever so but we have to sort of put a stop to it because you know at some point it's going to become painful obviously so is there anything we can do to make him stop besides like distracting him and things like this because punishing is not a thing with cats right it's not like with dogs that you can actually make them learn that way I know that cats just get angry and then they they resent you so I don't want that Sweetie, oh sweet. So yeah, um, just saying if you have any any suggestion what we can do to make him learn that biting people is not it's not a good idea, then please let me know in the comments. And besides that, he is really the joy of my day. Seriously. He's also he's running around everywhere um, and he's always chasing my skirts and he's like really really playful, super sweet. So we are super glad to have him. He's chasing his own leg also. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're really happy. And um, if you have any input, then feel free to give that to me, okay? You want to say hi? <laughs> you know she'll have it already. <laughs> She's my animal assistant. Okay, you can take him. Thank you for bringing him. <laughs> because two minutes ago when I came here and I, I was actually talking to Shalhevit before I said what's the cat doing and she had told me that he had just gone to sleep and now while I was just putting on my lipstick and stuff she brought him here and it was actually a really nice surprise because I thought that this week I cannot show him to you because I'm not going to wake a sleeping cat I will not <laughs> so anyway this is that of course we're going now into the new makeup releases and it is a lot again <laughs> And I'm super excited about it because, you know, makeup makes me feel really, really happy, makes me feel really being myself, you know, and that is that is a good, good thing because these days I'm having a bit of a hard time to like feeling myself, finding myself, knowing where everything stands because everything is in a limbo now that the school year has started and everything is weird and nothing is normal, even though we're trying to like have a sense of normality, especially for the children, but it's just not working you know and then also of course the Jewish high holidays coming up which brings a whole big load of pressure for me too and for a lot of other Jewish women so just saying we're having so much fun anyway so let's fire up Instagram and see what we're doing oh by the way the palette I used for this look is this one from Bella Forever, the Love is Love palette. Um, I'm going to have a review slash first impression slash opinion video up soon. Okay, I'm going to film that right after this video. So just so you know, it's coming at some point. Okay, um, wait, where am I? Here am I. Okay, so let's go to the side and uh, let's go right into it if you're new here and you have not seen this video before I'm focusing mostly on the indie community indie makeup because that is where my heart lies I'm also going to um, feature a few mainstream releases just to sort of be a little bit more doing everything <laughs> 
because I can't stop myself. But mostly it's going to be indie releases and if there are some releases that I'm not featuring then it is probably because you know they just didn't make the cut. So anyway maybe I should put my phone on silent. One second let's do that. Okay now let's go right in and the first thing I wanted to show you is actually a collaboration between Sigma and Stephanie Lang and it looks like this. This is the Essentials palette which has three face products and of course nine eyeshadows as you can see. Now this is while I'm super happy for her obviously I mean it is a huge step it is a huge a sign of recognition also for a creator and a makeup artist or whatever she is I don't know if she's a makeup artist but I mean she's doing makeup doesn't mean that you're a makeup artist right so um I don't know I'm not following her I know her though like from you know whatever so I know <laughs> her and she's collaborating with Sigma. They're coming out with this palette together. This is already available when you're seeing this and um, I'm super happy for her. While this palette is absolutely not for me, it is just too standard for me, which means nothing. Most people are going to love this, I'm sure, you know, and also people who are not like makeup collectors like I am, who maybe just buy one palette per up every couple of months, will use that probably much more because it's lovely, you know, it's lovely. It's just not necessarily for me. So this has launched on September 8th, which is my tomorrow and your yesterday, I think. <laughs> and um, do I have a price for this? I don't think I have a price, but anyway, you will find it, of course, linked in the description box. The next thing is an update because last time I spoke about the Ninja Fraser, I think, Ninja Fraser Cosmetics and I had this blooper there. I called this palette the Pink Paula instead of the Pink Panda. So it's the Pink Panda palette and I only showed you the outer packaging and now we see the real, the real release, how it looks. I think it's cute. For me personally, I need a little bit more depth because most of those shades are sort of mid-range and not really also so much lighter shades, which I don't care, like that's fine. It's just that I would like to have one like dark burgundy or something, you know, because of the drama. I, I just like my drama. So anyway, this is already launched when you were seeing this. So um, feel free to check out Ninja Fraser Cosmetics. Still stumbling over the name. So the next thing I'm actually super excited about also is Lucky Lashes. Lucky Lashes is sneak peeking something new that is coming and I know nothing. I know nothing. I just see this. And sweeties, um, I've been working with Lucky Lashes, not in this look obviously, but in other looks with this palette, this, the Glam Now and Smoke Later palette, which looks like this. And I have to say, I have made, uh, I've done two looks with this so far. It is beautiful. The formula mattes as well as shimmers as well as the glitters are beautiful. I have not filmed the review yet because with this one I wanted to play a little bit more, but um, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute insane pleasure to work with this formula. It's beautiful. So I'm. that's why I'm super excited about what they're coming out with because that might be something that I would want to support and like and use. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this is going to be all about, but uh, we shall see. What is this? Sad girl. I think, is it called sad girl? That doesn't fit to me. But anyway, uh, I hope if the color scheme is good, I might want to have this. <laughs> okay, the next thing is from Oma's Cosmetics and this is this palette. Okay, so this is the Oma Lisha. I think eyeshadow palette um, which is going to launch soon so there we have of course a nice size palette which is like this is a good size palette for me I love this overall of course this particular palette is just a little bit too neutral for me but again I think this is a beautiful palette for most people you know it is also of course leaning a little bit darker which is fine I always feel like it's much easier to work with palettes like that than with two light palettes but that is also a very very personal thing so you might of course feel completely differently about that anyway so it is a mostly neutral palette with a orange and a teal and I think there's also like a dark green in there but um, mostly neutral 
and that's fine it's totally fine it's coming soon I don't have a price this is Omas Cosmetics okay the next thing is from hip dot and they have launched two new nude palettes one is more cool tone leaning one is more warm leaning both of them are not necessarily for me while hip dot is as a brand very very interesting to me but this is not necessarily um, my thing so the warm tone palette is called witchy warms and then the cold tone uh, palette is called mystic mauves and it's cute they retail for $22 each and as a bundle they you can buy them for $40 and um, it is already available it's not for me though not this release but in general hip dot is coming out with stuff that is also interesting to me just not this one in particular the next thing I wanted to show you is from KVD vegan beauty and this is the first time on my channel that I have said this right KVD vegan beauty as if I've never done anything else in my life than saying this name. So anyway, they're coming out with this. This is the holiday 2020 release of um, KVD Vegan Beauty and we have 14 shades, 6 mattes, 8 shimmers, 2 special effect flip shades. I guess these are like toppers that you can put on top, whatever. Uh, yeah, so that is what it is. I don't have a price, I don't think, but um, this will be available in October. What do I think? it's not gonna be for me because the darker shades are the shimmers you know besides that one brown matte in the top left corner there is only so much I can do with this you know uh, no <laughs> I'm not against trying this brand even though Kat Von D is like especially because Kat Von D is out of the picture and now it sort of makes it this brand available for me to try because of course I did not get anywhere close to Kat Von D but um, this is not gonna be the one okay next thing is also a new holidays day release and this is from Too Faced I think there's also something else later in the video coming from Too Faced I'm not 100% sure I'm now so this is a sneak peek of the holiday collection and uh, this is the was it what is it called enchanted beauty holiday collection uh the unbearable glam set <laughs> unbearable like because of the bears you know uh yeah no <laughs> it's not it's also again not so much for me it's just it's very very like smooth sailing you know and I don't like smooth sailing I like to have the adventure so this is not for me this is going to be releasing or be being available on September 15th if you're interested I don't have a price but anyway this is from Too Faced okay next thing I wanted to quickly show you and really just show you and like breeze over it because this is also not really my thing and this is Rare Beauty which is Selena Gomez's brand and I'm like I have no connection to Selena Gomez I guess I'm just too old and I'm European and I have to agree with Aniela Kanikwist who said that in Europe uh, Selena Gomez was only famous for being the girlfriend of you know I think at least this is what I remember when I still followed stuff like this like now I can't care anymore like I have a life you know so that is not <laughs> also her makeup style is not for me it's basically the only thing that is interesting are the lipsticks and I'm not just gonna buy lipsticks you know so this is what it is she's coming out with all kinds of stuff foundation concealer lipsticks um, all kinds of like glow kits and stuff just in case this is your makeup style my blessings to you um, just so you know that this is going to be available on Rare Beauty. The next thing is another holiday sneak peek and that is coming soon also from Too Faced. This is the one that I just spoke about um, that is coming later in the video. Uh, yeah so this is what it is. We have the Cinnamon Bear palette and the Salted Caramel palette and then we have of course some lip products just in case you're interested. In general I'm not too crazy about Too Faced like all together you know so I'm not really buying from Too Faced it's, it's just the brand that doesn't vibe so much with me but I know a lot of people like it so that's why I'm featuring it here just in case you're interested there are two new palettes also that are a little bit darker leaning than the ones that I showed you previously the unbearably cute collection or whatever it was <laughs> and then also of course the lip products this is coming in November okay so just so you know then there is another sneak peek for holiday 2020 <laughs> and this is from Becca they're coming out with this palette here I think this is the most beautiful because of the packaging the inside is okay you know the most interesting shade according to the swatches is really that purple shade in the top right corner but besides that it is you know it's cute it's cute 
there's nothing wrong with the palette it's just probably not special enough for me to want this you know because it's all shimmers and I don't know it's just not necessarily for me but anyway so that is what it is just wanted to show you that Becca is coming out with this palette and then we're moving on <laughs> to Natasha Denona uh, who has surprised all of us with this beauty <laughs> Oh, sweeties. Anyway, that, that was, um, it was kind of a surprise, but also not. You know, I was talking with my best friend in Europe about this and she also said, you know what, it's like um, <laughs> Jeffree Star in small, the Orgy palette in small. <laughs> anyway, sort of it is the same vibe, you know. And while I have nothing against cold neutrals at all, I feel it is a little bit too little you know so anyway but again there is a market for everything and I'm sure that a lot of people are gonna buy this you know there is no question in my mind about this is it gonna be super successful I don't know like whatever you know it's her problem it's 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 Natasha Denona's responsibility to come up with something where she feels that this is what my customers will buy you know or if, if her customers are so loyal that they buy, buy anything without even asking questions, then, you know, whatever, that's good for her. But um, that is coming on September 16th online. And yeah, so that is that, it's not, not for me. <laughs> All right, Alien Cosmetics is coming out with liners. I don't know much about this, just that this is liners and very, very colorful ones. I'm sure this is gonna be water activated. It has to be I don't know it only says their love liner gem gasket so that's that's what it is I don't know I, it looks like water activated liners this is coming I don't know when just saying in case you want to order something from alien cosmetics I do have a code with alien cosmetics which is affiliated I don't know is it Leora 10 you'll find it in the description box everything you will find in the description box okay a new brand and that is a UK based brand and this is Aria Cosmetics which is sort of cool it reminds me of Game of Thrones <laughs> but I, they write it differently but it's Aria Cosmetics and they're coming out with the Spectrum palette which retails for 30 pounds uh, this is you know this is my life <laughs> This is like everything, you know? I don't know if the lowest row is pressed glitters or if it is shimmers. If it's shimmers, then it looks a little bit more chunky. It could be misleading though. Just saying that this is a palette that gives you everything. Maybe not cold neutrals necessarily too much, but you know, you get a whole lot here in case uh, you want to. <laughs> All right, Aria Cosmetics. Then we want to go back to Too Faced. What's happening? Too Faced is on the roll. So they have um, this palette out, Marielle Amor Caliente. I don't know exactly what that means, but this is what it looks like. I think the packaging is cute. The color of the packaging is cute. I think if you were to take away the color of the packaging and put it in a taupe package, in a, uh, like a taupe packaging, the whole palette would look completely different. I think the, the packaging is really what makes the palette here or what, what gives you the vibe of it being a colorful palette or a more vibrant palette than it really is because really the only super vibrant shade in this palette is that pink the second one in, um, to the right in the top row and besides that it's not really you know <laughs> not not like at least not for me but anyway this is available now I don't have a price but in case you're interested of course you will find it on the Too Faced um, website <laughs> Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is the pastry palette from uh, Pastry Cosmetics. This is how she looks. It's a very, very vibrant palette, super vibrant, really neon when I think about it, you know, in a lot of ways. This retails for $20 um, and this is already available. I think is the only shimmer is I think that gold in the top left corner. Could that be? Or maybe, no, you know what, I'm not sure. It is a little bit um, hard to see here. I think maybe also the blue underneath and the purple underneath, I think those are the shimmers. So basically the whole left column is uh, shimmers, I think. Okay, C I can't be 100% sure. But anyway, this is what it is, uh, just so you know, from Pastry Cosmetics, it's the pastry palette for $20. Then Shine by SD is coming out with something super interesting and they're going to have liners launching, which look like this. 
this is actually already available when you're seeing this oh no it's available for pre-order sorry so they are going to retail for 14 Canadian dollars or close to 11 uh, US dollars depending on what you're using <laughs> which currency you're using this is this is cute this is cute I would love stuff like this you know Shine by SD is also such an interesting brand and I would love to try this totally totally into liners getting there you know I'm still waiting for the products that uh, are on the way to me <laughs> I have to make a video about all the things that are on the way to me for months just saying so yeah um that is that really really nice and that is from shine by sd the next release is from ink with wink and that is this palette this is a new love is love palette i assume that that was probably supposed to come out during the summer but i don't know whatever it is this is the love is love palette sneak peek i don't know as of right now when i'm filming this two days before you're saying this i don't know what it really is going to look like i only have a video here with someone opening and closing the palette which is <laughs> <laughs> not so easy for me but anyway this is what it is and um i will update you when i know how it um how it looks when i know how it looks yeah okay the next one is also a sneak peek of something that is coming soon and that is from clarity cosmetics it's the new coffee palette so right now just in black and white we shall see it is a bigger palette which is nice i like that coffee theme though it's probably not going to be for me but again I shall update you I don't know when this is coming just that it's coming soon so I will let you know then we're moving on to the next thing and that is a collaboration between Maliva Cosmetics and Makeup by Sophia and this is an eyeshadow palette sneak peek so there is going to be more it's not just those four shades as far as I understand this post so we shall see it's going to be yeah it says here it's going to be 15 15 shades in the palette and it has been of course designed and created by Sophia or customized by Sophia and it's coming soon again I will update you on that one too then generation makeup is also is that a new brand for me I think so generation makeup is coming out with palettes there is one wait it's videos sweeties don't do that to me it's so hard please give me pictures and then include a video it is so hard for me I think there are going to be three palettes it's really hard for me to say it looks like there's going to be a warm neutral palette with a pop of teal then there's going to be a cold neutral palette with a pop of blue then <laughs> then there's going to be a mauve palette and then oh there's four palettes and there's going to be a nine pen palette that is like more colorful I'm going to try to take screenshots I hope I can do this it is I, I just can't do this you know the videos I know what the brands are going for I know it's the anticipation of someone opening the uh, opening the palette and whatever you know I get it but for me <laughs> It's just very distracting. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to try to take screenshots and then let you know, you know, that that's what it is. I don't know um, if this is available. I would assume it is available. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, it says here it's five palettes. So maybe I missed one because, you know, they came one after the other and it's just very confusing. So I will try and it, it looks like they're gonna be five palettes, okay? you will have seen it here okay anyway the next thing is from black cosmetics and this is like b l a q e cosmetics okay but i guess it would one would pronounce it black cosmetics and they're coming out with a nubian loose highlighters in four shades this is already available when you're seeing this this is how they look these are the shades a little bit lighter a little bit more rosy than mid-range and a little bit more like a bronzy <laughs> bronzy shade also so I think you're getting a nice big variety here this is how they look this is all I know I don't have a price this is coming soon okay next thing we're going to baby face lashes let me just double check that this is right baby face lashes I think so so they're coming out with this palette this is the limited edition south central baby girls palette all right um i don't have a price for this this palette it says here will be sold separately and in a bundle all of their palettes are exclusive on time drop you don't want to miss out <laughs> this is what it says here okay so this is going to be then yeah limited edition and exclusive and when it's sold out it's sold out this is a nice colorful palette that is though a little bit more muted but still colorful and i really really like that it's cute it's really cute i don't have a price it's coming soon don't have a date so yeah 
that is what it is. Then we have Zanelica. We need to talk about Zanelica. They're coming out with foundation. I don't know why my page is not loading. Okay, they're coming out with 59 shades of a full coverage foundation, which looks like this. It says here it has an improved formula and is now available for $25 each. I love that. Full coverage foundation is my piece of cake. I need full coverage foundation every single day of my life when I'm wearing makeup because I have melasma and I just need full coverage foundation that is what I have to do in order to look put together and to also cover up you know my my melasma so that is what it is so I'm super excited about this $25 is for me personally too much I cannot do that because I need so much foundation that I cannot pay more than $15 for a bottle of foundation but anyway this is what it is in case you're interested this is already available for $25 each then the next thing is from the diary cosmetics and they're coming out with the botanical <laughs> The Botanical Eyeshadow Palette. It features 12 shades with 9 uh, high pigmented uh, mattes, 1 creamy shimmer, 2 self-adhesive glitters for $17.50. So this has dropped already just in case you're interested. Of course there is a little bit of a neutral vibe going on with a lot of colorful options. Really really nice. Nothing against it. So this is uh, the Diary Cosmetics. The next thing is a sneak peek from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. The girl is on fire. She's coming out with so many things and usually her stuff is like really really interesting so she is collaborating let me just check who that is she is collaborating with beats by deb i think beats by deb and um this is the outer packaging again this is a video i don't um, know yet anything about what is going to be inside just so you know, I'm going to update you. This is coming soon. All right, we're moving on to Sound Cosmetics and they are also coming out with a limited edition eyeshadow palette. This is gonna be the Passion Palette. It has 12 easy to blend shades, six mattes, four metallics, two satins, available now for pre-order and it will retail for $32. This looks like a bit of a more soft vibe uh, fall palette which is nice, you know, me personally, again, I would love to have a little bit more depth in the palette, like one super dark orange kind of a thing, or, you know, one super dark burgundy, again, I have it with the burgundies, I don't know, or like a red wine kind of a shade, you know, that is what I'm looking for, but anyway, this this is going to be, it is already available for pre-order, as I said, but this is going to ship on September 17th, in case you're interested. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to show you is from Makeup Maniacs, cosmetics and they have revealed their new season palette which is of course the fall palette this is six shades it retails for $16 this has already launched it is very cute very cute execution it is all shimmery shades as far as I can see or is the orange a matte? I'm not 100% sure right now. Maybe the, you know what? The orange and maybe the bone color matte could be a matte. It looks like it could be. So, um, but there are four shimmery shades and I think execution wise, I think this is really, really sweet, at least for like my skin tone and maybe a medium skin tone, I don't know. You know for darker i can't really judge so much but that is what it is i think it's really cute uh, 16 dollars as i already said okay we're moving on to uh, beauty spot cosmetics and they're coming out with three new palettes they retail for 27 dollars each you see them here one looks like it, the number one looks like it's just glitter only palette and then the other ones are um, i think glitter shimmer and matte hybrids <laughs> like uh, combined in one palette yeah so that is what they look like one is more purpley and cold neutrals leaning the other one of course number three is is more uh, warm neutrals and orange leaning um i don't know i don't think that any of this is necessarily for me but um it's cute especially the the palettes number two and three an all glitter palette I don't think is ever going to be really interesting to me. I like pressed glitters, I really do, but an all glitter palette, I don't know if I would really um, use that enough in order for me to want to pay 27 pounds or whatever, you know, for an all glitter palette. But anyway, so that is that. We're moving on to the next thing and I was actually <laughs> stumbling a bit over the name. So this is, sorry, <laughs> sorry, this is Fuck Average Beauty so sorry uh, because usually I don't talk like that but it's actually the name you know of, of the brand so this is available now we have the pink princess palette which looks beautiful nine shades three pressed glitters four mattes one metallic matte what's a metallic matte and one metallic 
I don't know. What is a metallic matte? I don't know. Okay, so and then the Money Green palette, nine shades, three best glitters, four mattes, one metallic matte, and one metallic. So same, same ratio in there. They're retailing, let me see. They're available now for purchase and retail for $25. And, um, and that is what it is. I think they look cute. I think they do look cute. I don't really, I have a very small picture, I have to say, so I can't really say exactly what which shade is, you know, so um, it's it's a little bit hard for me, but it, I think especially the green one is of course totally my piece of cake. So anyway, that is what it is. Okay, sweeties, this is Leora from the future. <laughs> because I'm filming this hours hours later than the other footage for my new makeup releases video because I just started editing and I realized that something has dropped out of my folder on Instagram where I'm saving everything that I'm using you know that I want to talk to you about and of course of course that is glam light last week we spoke about glam light I couldn't show you anything yet because it was just the outer packaging and now we are seeing this palette and there was just no way that I can move that to next week because this is I have to talk about this okay this is beautiful this is so so beautiful who would have thought I didn't I didn't I thought you know yeah it's probably gonna be pastels and whatever and I didn't think it was gonna be speaking to me but oh it does oh it does sweeties I don't even know this is such a beautiful palette that I cannot even, that's, that was the reason why I now had to come back and film this and include it somehow in the video. That's why also my lipstick is gone. Never mind, okay? I just had to do this, otherwise I would just felt, have felt so bad. So this is launching on the 12th of September. This is launching and it's going to cost only $45. Of course, there are discount codes and stuff. I want this, sweeties. I want this. I'm debating. Should I go ahead and buy this? Should I wait for a sale? Because usually I wait for sales. Nothing is ever current on my channel anyway. You know what? What happened in the meantime between me filming the first part of this video and now just this segment? I got two packages from Australia who were on the way to me for two months two months you know nothing ever gets to me nothing so does it matter if I order it now or if I wait in like a couple of months till this goes on sale you let me know I don't know <laughs> I have no idea anyway this palette looks absolutely beautiful and I want it now the question is just if I should order it now on release or if I should wait I don't know what to do Anyway, just wanted to include that and now we're going to go back to the original footage with lipstick with a little bit more uh, perfect makeup probably. I don't know because seriously it's now like six hours later. So that's just what I wanted to include and now we're going to go back to the original. Next thing is a new brand and that is Neema Beauty or Neema Beauty depending on I guess I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. So this is a new black owned makeup brand African inspired makeup cruelty free. This is the or these are the two palettes that are launching now in September 2020. Uh, it says here two super pigmented eyeshadow palettes and also five matte lipsticks which you can see here at least the packaging and you also see the shades on the packaging. I think also the outer packaging of the palette looks really or of the, both palettes of course looks really really nice I'm excited about this brand Neema Beauty really really cool I don't have prices but uh, yeah so this is coming at some point now in September I think this is really cool then an update an update for Spoiled Lips Cosmetics I showed you last time their Halloween palette and this is how she looks now um, this is going to be called this is for such a cool name wait let me just ugh. My, my pages are not opening. Okay, this is the Glamoween palette. <laughs> This is the Glamoween palette and I think that is really really cool. You know that is a theme I can even go with. While I always say you know I'm not so much into Halloween palettes which is really you know it's only partially true because I usually love the color schemes I just do not like the themes. That is my only the only thing where I have problems with. It's not the palette it's not the makeup it's just the theme you know. So anyway this is retailing for $26. This is the Glamoween palette. I love that. This is really really cool and, um, and this is an collaboration with Sydney Nicole Adams in case you are interested like or you need to know and I think the color scheme is cute you know it's really nice and that is what it is also a new collaboration is coming out from Copacetic Cosmetics together with Jones what's her name Miriam Jones uh, what's her name Monica 
not Monica, I'm sorry, Monica Jones, and they're coming out with the Companion eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. Now, this is really, really cute. Of course, this has a bit of a softer vibe, and I, I almost want to say that it has a spring vibe to it, you know, but that's just me, you know, it means nothing. So, I think this is really, really cute. I love the theme, you know, animals are companions, absolutely. I guess that is the whole idea behind the palette. I think this is really, really cute. This is launching on September 21st and it will retail for $35. And of course, you can use um, Monica's code, which gives you 10% off. So that is nice. I kind of really want this <laughs> because I love Copacetic Cosmetics. Seriously, Copacetic Cosmetics is an amazing, amazing brand. Just saying, you know. Okay, the next thing I got tagged in so many times, which is so funny. <laughs> All right, so this is coming from Sink Beauty Shop. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we have a very, very big, very glittery palette. How many do we have? 140 shades. 140 shades. Um, I don't know why. Uh, why? This is even for me. This is like way too much, you know? Also, first of all, these palettes, they fold into each other and I personally don't like that. I don't think this is really practical. Um, and also, first of all, also, do you know, the thing is when I, I'm just seeing a video here and I hope that I can, by the time I'm editing, find some kind of decent picture. You can actually see the whole palette opened up. But you know what? When you film a video about a, a release that you're having, that's one thing. But when you're using a sparkly filter on it, that is just not okay. You know, it's not okay. That's not okay. Sorry. But, you know, give us, if you're already giving us such a huge, huge palette, just let us see what we're really getting and like keep the stupid filter sparkles for yourself. You know, I don't need that. But anyway, so this is the giant... <laughs> What is this even called? Is it the giant pen eyeshadow palette? Wait, the wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I always have to wait till the video goes back to the beginning to see the, the outside of the palette. This is so annoying. I love this world, maybe. The I love this world palette. Now the, t the theme is cute. The theme is really, really cute and it is the kind of positivity that we actually do need because I'm personally sick and tired of all the negativity sick and tired to hear of all the negativity in general in the world with politics, with health, with uh, pandemics, <laughs> in the makeup community, in the beauty community in general. I'm sick and tired of it and I want it to stop and I just want to have some good vibes, you know? So that being said, that is really what speaks for the palette. Uh, other than that, it is just too big. <laughs> and that's what I said. Okay, so anyway, uh, something that is super exciting is actually DJ's Unique Boutique. And that is something that I actually would love to get for myself. This is the palette she's coming out with. This is her second palette. If I'm not completely wrong, this is coming soon. And this is her holiday palette. Now, this is a holiday palette that is special. It's exceptional. It's out there. It's different. I love this. This is cute. And if I can somehow get my hand on this I'm going to buy this one I'm definitely going to try to buy this one this is so so cute now I don't know when this is going live in case you see this going live please send me a DM on Instagram or tag me in the post or something so I will know when this goes live because this is definitely what I want to try and I think the special thing is that I think her daughter um, chose the shades or or did the the uh, packaging design of the packaging or something um, I think this is so so sweet you know, I th uh, the color scheme is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's special. You know, I love special things. So this is it. I don't know what this is going to cost or anything. But anyway, this is DJ's Unique Boutique. I love it. All right, the next thing is from Lois Cosmetics. And last time we spoke about Lois Cosmetics already because of the brush set. And now she's coming out with liquid liners. Um, I think it's just going to be black for now. A black liquid liners, long wearing, fast drying, waterproof. Really, really nice. Would love to try that because, you know, liners are so essential in a look. If you have a good liner, then that is going to really, really do the look for you, you know? Um, I always feel as soon as I have some kind of a liner on, no matter what color but the, the the liner is sort of if you're doing it well 
<laughs> there, which it doesn't doesn't always work for me. <laughs> but anyway, if you're doing it well, a liner can really pull the whole look together, you know? Same goes for eyebrows and, and mascara and stuff like that. Stuff like that is super important. And yeah, so mascara is for me personally not so important because I'm always wearing falsies. But anyway, liners are super important to me. So this is what's coming. I don't know when and I don't know the price, just that it's coming. Okay, then I wanted to also feature Love Lux Beauty. They're coming out with the new Blue Jeans Chrome Quad, which is already available now. This is how it looks. I think it is super, super cute, super well done according to the theme. Of course, quads are not for me, but I wanted to show you because maybe it is for you. I think color scheme wise and execution wise, it's really, really cute. Okay, I also wanted to talk about um, XX Revolution, which is of course a sister or daughter brand from Makeup Revolution, and they're coming out with these palettes they're coming out actually makeup revolution in general is coming out with quite a few releases i'm just not you know go to other channels <laughs> I, I just cannot do it all. Okay, so that is what it is. They're coming out with these two, among other things. Makeup Revolution is coming out with these two. And they are retailing for $26 uh, dollars or £20. Pounds. They are big. <laughs> and um, I think they are a bit repetitive overall. While I do like the combination between gray, silver and, and purples, that is really, really nice. But there are really a lot of shades in both of those palettes that... Um, I don't know. It might all be different consistencies and whatever. It's just that I don't know. I like the color scheme. I like the color scheme of the purple and gray one. I definitely do. I don't know if that is though, if I need this necessarily. I think, you know what, the the gem, what was it? The, such a gem palette from Morphe that came out a year and I don't know, a couple, like a year and a half ago. I have that here and it also has grays and purples. So I don't need this you know I don't need this just wanted to show you in case you're interested in general I would like to try the XX Revolution um, formula because I haven't tried that yet but it's not really really not top priority so just saying okay next thing I wanted to talk to you about is from Terra Moons Cosmetics who are collaborating with Urban Outfitters which is Wow, you know, that's that's cool. And they're coming out with the Lunar Celestial Shadows Celestial Lunar Celestial. I don't know. Shadow set which is available now. And um okay, so that's for <laughs> for shadows which is of course again not for me also color scheme wise is very safe, which makes sense for that release because you want to reach a broad audience, of course. Um, yeah, so, but that is with Terra Moons Cosmetics and I think that is a huge step. It's amazing for them. Uh, I've never tried anything from Terra Moons Cosmetics, but I know I've heard that they are really, really amazing quality. So that is that, congratulations. Really proud of you guys. But um, this personal, like this is not gonna be personally for me. And with that, sweeties, we are done <laughs> for today. I really breezed through this because I can hear, maybe you cannot, but I can hear that the gardener is approaching. And if you've been here previously, you know that that is an issue. Every Monday when I'm filming this, he is in the neighborhood. <laughs> and this guy puts me under so much pressure because I have to finish filming this video before he gets too close to our house. Plus, I already told you in the beginning of the video that I have to film another video right now. So just saying that you know, I, I have to hurry. So anyway, this is what it is. I also wanted to quickly tell you that, of course, the high holidays of uh, in Judaism are coming up, which is our new year and then the Day of Atonement and then the Festival of Tabernacles. Just so you know that this might influence also my upload schedule. If I'm not having videos up when I usually have videos up, then, you know, just so you know, it is probably because of that, that I'm having a festival you know so anyway that is that all right sweetie so this is it for today i hope you did enjoy yourself feel free to leave your comments of course in the comment section down below if you're new here then please browse around at my content and if you like what you're seeing then please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here and besides that also one more thing that i have to just tell you that um, next week my new makeup releases video is going to be probably on thursday or on tuesday i'm not 100 percent sure yet depending on how i can get it done but it it is going to be not on Wednesday because on Wednesday I have a different video which is a collab with two amazing amazing youtubers so just so you know okay and um, that is that so it is coming it's just not going to be on Wednesday and besides that I want to wish you of course an awesome day or an awesome evening depending on when you're seeing this please come back tomorrow for tomorrow's video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye